If you're new to immersive audio or you're a seasoned pro diving into the world of immersive mixing, the question is, when should you use an upmix plugin, such as Pentio Pro Plus? In this video, I'm gonna give you guys a quick tip on how to place dry stems versus wet stems when using an upmixer. This is Alex from Alex Pro Mix. Let's go! Hey guys, and welcome back to Alex Pro Mix. In this video, I wanted to answer a question that I get a lot, which is, hey Alex, how many instances of a Pentio plugin should I be using in my mix? Well, that's a great question. And it all depends on what stems you have to work with. So I have a demonstration pulled up of an awesome immersive mix for Mia called Dynasty, the orchestral version. And let's go ahead and check out this mix first and then I'll answer the question. Here we go. Made it through the maze to find my one in the million. But now you're just a page torn from the story I'm living. And all I gave you is gold. Down by like it was All right, so as you can hear, it's a lovely arrangement, orchestral mix, uh, great singing voice, great performance, and it sounds awesome and immersive. So the question is, how many instances of Pentio should you be using as a nut mixer? Should they be applied to all your stems, to some stems? Where should you use it? So let's have a look. All right, now for this mix, I was fortunate enough to get a lead vocal dry stem, which has the vocal processing, such as compression, EQ and saturation, and so forth, and also have a lead vocal wet, which includes all the effects. So for this instance, what I decided on for the lead vocal dry track is to keep that left and right. I played around with panning to the center channel, but I wasn't getting the results that I liked, so I kept it left and right, which gave me this nice phantom center. Now the wet vocals, they didn't quite sound right just panning them to the side speaker. So this is where Pentio came in. With Pentio, I was able to convert the stereo stem to uh, an immersive stem or an immersive channel output. And you guys have seen my videos, um, introduction to Pentio Pro Plus version six, which is great, you guys should watch that. But the key thing here is to ensure that we're using the right channel configuration for the outputs. And in this case, I am. I'm using Output Atmos 704. Why not 714? Because I don't want anything from the voice to feed the LFE by mistake. So on Atmos, it's set up to 704. And this is alongside with my uh, 714 mixing template, which you guys will see here. Everything goes to this folder, and then it gets assigned to the bed and to objects. And we're all happy by using the surround pattern and Pro Tools. For the vocal wet stem, I really wasn't happy with how it sounded on the side channels or the rear channels or the top channels because the limitations here are as follows. Whenever you have a wet stem, you basically have a, a, a stereo stem, which you can pan anywhere in the immersive environment, but you can't really send it to all the channels. So that's where the up mixer comes into play. If I wanna send that wet stem with reverb and delays to all the channels, well, that's where Pentio comes in. And for this case, what I did is I use up mix mode, I use stem pass through, and then I adjusted these sliders until it was spread all throughout the room. So let me go ahead and bring this down. And right now you guys are just gonna hear the wet stem. You're not gonna hear the uh, lead dry vocal track. Here we go. So by moving up these sliders, by moving up upper, I'm basically feeding that wet stem to the upper channel, to the ceiling channels. When I move up the rear slider, which is the blue one, I hear the spread behind me. And when I turn up the center channel, I hear it like directly right in front of me. And that's just a wet stem. Now let's listen to what happens when we do that with listening to the vocal dry stem plus the wet stem together. So again, the vocal dry stem is being panned to the front, to left and right, and then we're using the wet stem with pan tail to spread it all around the room to create this awesome immersive mix. So I'll go ahead and solo just the vocal parts and then we'll bring in the music. All I gave you 
Now, when we bring up the Dolby Render, you're going to see that reflected here. When I turn down the vocal wet stem with Pantio, you're only going to see left and right channels appear. But the moment I turn up the vocal wet stem with the up mix, you're going to see signal spreading through all the channels. Now that alone is so cool because from here I can balance like how much impact I want the immersive mix to have between the dry vocal stem and then the wet vocal stem. And again, the wet vocal stem is being spread out throughout the entire room. The dry vocal stem is only coming out of the left and right channels. So that's, that's kind of a quick way or concept for you guys to understand like when you should use a Pentio up mix, when you should use an up mix plugin. And for this case, when you have dry stems versus wet stems, it's a perfect example. Let me show you another place here in this mix and arrangement where I was able to do the same thing. And that's here with the Bricasti stem. That's right. Uh, this, this, this is a gorgeous sounding reverb. And right, let's just go ahead and isolate that by itself. And we'll bring up the uh, render so you guys can see that visual. And that's a gorgeous sounding reverb from the Bricasti. And now if we bring up all the other orchestral elements, such as the strings, the deca microphones, and some of the other instruments, you're going to hear like this lovely representation. So what I'll do is I'll dial back the, um, the Bricasti with using this slider. So I'll use that on my mixer. I'll bring this down. You guys will see that visually. And then I'll turn this up. And you guys are going to hear without the Bricasti, you know, just where the things are placed. In, in immersive, but then when I bring up the Bricasti, it's spreading it all around the channels. Here we go. And I'll play that with all the vocals in place and the entire mix. Here we go. Alright guys, so that's all the time that we have for this video. Hopefully this answered that question as to how many instances of an UpMix plugin you should be using and how to go about uh, placing your dry and wet stems. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave that in the comments below. Thank you guys again so much for watching. I'll see you again real soon. Peace.